Bursa Malaysia's non-executive chairman, Dato Shireen N. Zahara Muhyiddin, has been directed to vacate her post over governance issues. The directive came from Finance Minister Tunku Dato Sri Zafrul Tunku Abdul Aziz, which is his right as stated in the Capital Markets and Services Act 2007. Shireen had been appointed to the post on March 1st last year, replacing Tan Sri Amir Sham A. Aziz. She had also been made Public Interest Director. When contacted by the edgemarkets.com, the security Commission confirmed the Finance Minister's decision to revoke Shireen's appointment after consultation with the SC. The SC said that the consultation in this instance revolved around governance issues and the current Bursa Chairman's fit and properness in the role. Shireen is the founder of Corston Smith Asset Management and holds independent directorships at AMMB Holdings and the Federal Land Development Authority. Securities Commission Chairman Dato Syed Zaid Alba says that Bursa Malaysia will provide main market listed companies temporary relief from the PN17 classification to give them more time to get their houses in order. This move comes as a result of disruptions from COVID-19. Syed Zaid said a similar relief will be extended to GN3 companies that are listed on the ACE market. Speaking to reporters at a virtual press conference, Syed Zaid said that the period of this PN17 relaxation will be effective from April 17th until June 30th, subject to certain criteria. Noting that extraordinary times call for extraordinary measures, he says the SC is deploying a wide range of regulatory tools to support the market and its participants. In particular, the SC will continue to raise awareness surrounding scams as scammers tend to target people during times of uncertainty. The Securities Commission has further liberalised the short-selling and market-making framework to increase the country's market efficiency. In its 2019 annual report released today, the SC said it was because market makers continue to be key in promoting liquidity and depth. SC says the liberalisation serves to expand the pool of market makers to include standalone foreign corporations to market-made products on Bursa Malaysia. In addition, there will be an expanded range of approved securities for short selling to boost the liquidity of small and mid-cap shares. The capital market regulator also revealed that the country's enhanced IPO framework is targeted to be rolled out in 2020. The aim of the framework is to reinforce the shared responsibilities between the SC and approved principal advisors with a firm focus on enabling investors to make informed decisions. Property prices are expected to drop over the next few months as COVID-19's impact on the economy continues to deepen. Malaysian Institute of Estate Agents President Lim Boon Ping says that the market will shift to a buyer's market from a seller's market previously. As such, prices could at best decline 10%. However, Lim says despite the implementation of the movement control order, which has curbed in-person property viewings, there have been property deals that have been closed sight unseen. Lim adds that real estate state agents in Malaysia should learn to use technology to enhance their services post both the MCO and COVID-19. Serba Dynamics saw its stock gain 12.5% in early trade following its win of an engineering, procurement and construction contract worth a whopping 7.7 billion ringgit in Abu Dhabi. Profit taking during the course of the day paired gains, but the counter still closed in positive territory, 5.95% up at 1 ringgit 78, with 41 million shares traded. Both Serba Dynamics shares and its warrants were among Bursa Malaysia's most actively traded. To recap, yesterday Serba Dynamic announced to the bourse that its unit had accepted a letter of award from US-based Block 7 Investments for the four-year project set to commence on May 14th. It is expected to contribute positively to the group's financials for FY20.